Okay, resuming. This is video number nine, talking to a supervisor. Um, yeah. Uh, so I want to know how I can get refunded for. Did did, it, did they explain it to you? What what do you need to know from me, or did they tell you this situation? Yes, my support here already told me what happened to your subscription to Office 365 Home. Yeah. And I apologize for all the inconvenience that um the the previous representative uh, before my my support here she told me that your subscription has been cancelled immediately and that's what that's not what you want right no i did i don't want it first of all i i i the reason why i got into this whole thing about canceling it um it was a total misunderstanding. I was trying to um, actually renew it, um, continue it, but the PayPal information was wrong. That was in there. Listed, listed in there. Okay. So the upshot is to make a long story short, and I was on the phone for a long time on Friday. Uh, I said I just told the guy cancel everything, cancel it all out. Now I I can I meant for him to cancel the auto renew because it was up, up for auto renew on February seventh, so you know I'm I paid for it for a month I should have it for a full month so I should have it until February sixth right that's what I'm entitled to that's what I paid for now I just went on to try to use a word document uh, today and it said a subscription expired now this is January twenty fifth I paid for it till February sixth I either want a refund a partial refund or I want it reinstalled. Okay, um, now, your first name is... Yeah, but it's, yeah, uh, yeah, right. She didn't oh. tell you my name? I thought she told you all the details. You want my order number? What do you want from me? I mean, you know, so so now I went through a whole thing with a different representative who told me, okay, we'll send you a refund for 1069 to your old PayPal account since that account w was closed and I since reopened a new one. Well, that information yeah. is wrong. And I just talked to PayPal and they said, no, you can't send to an old account. Uh, it won't get through. We, you know, that, okay. So, the, the, so in other words, okay. um, how do I get a refund from you, or can I get it reinstalled? So tell me, well, I mean, one or the other. Yes, um, if you still want to reinstall the office, I can give you a one-month free for, for another Microsoft account. Yeah, well, and, yeah and, but and isn't my, it, my second resolution is, if we're going to, um, uh, again, uh, I just want to apologize for the refund that has been processed to an, an old, uh, old PayPal account. I'm going to go ahead and um, escalate this issue to our higher level of support. Since our tools here have um, support boundaries that we cannot um, process those um, refunds that has been already processed on a, on a wrong yeah, well, I think you should. First of all, you're probably sending it to some hacker, so I would advise you to cancel that refund. But that's up to you. I mean, it's your 1069. What I want to know is, yeah. okay, now this is the problem. So you're telling me I can get a free trial if I open a, a, a Microsoft account another, under a different... Yeah, another Microsoft account. Yeah, and but isn't that... Okay. Already, um, a, a, a Microsoft account that um, is already existing, we, we can go ahead on the website and walk you through on how to get that free... Okay, now first of all, now I have a Microsoft account. Um, I did actually initially, and it was last year, get a free trial. And I just tried before to get it, and it said I can't get it because, you know, existing customer, so you can't get it again. You only get one free trial. But you're telling me if I have a different email address and a different account, I can get a free trial? Yes, um, it should be uh, a Microsoft account that is not yet for the pre-trial before. So it has to be a, a new Microsoft account or okay. a Microsoft account that is not yet um, used for, for um, and, and fixing, okay. insisting on subscription. But let me ask you this. Isn't that a problem with security to have two Microsoft accounts? I mean, isn't that a security oh, problem? It, it's not a problem. Um, having two or three Microsoft accounts is an advantage so that oh, you can use uh, the, the Microsoft um, subscription or you can you can still uh, maximize the, all the products of Microsoft on a different on a different Microsoft account. Uh, okay, so let me ask you this then I had um, 
Um, in my current Microsoft account, I have an alternate email address as a security uh, setting. Can I use that email address as a primary in my new Microsoft account? If, if that alternate email is not yet a Microsoft account, you can use that. Okay, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it's not a Microsoft account, so it's not. So, um, okay, can you like hold on for a minute? I'll, I'll quickly see if I can do this while I have you on the line. Yes. Okay, thanks. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through as well on the website to, to set it up as a Microsoft account. May, may I ask what is that email, please? Oh, it's, um, it's uh, Sue Boykevich, so that's S as in Sam, U as in use, E as in Edward, Boykevich, my last name, B as in barn, O as in over, Y as in yes, K as in keep, E as in Edward, W as in Walter, I as in in, C as in Charles, H as in hat, uh, 4325 at comcast.net. Marvelous. Thank you so much for that information, Susan. Okay, um, you can go ahead and set it up as a Microsoft account on our website, account.live.com. Okay. Please open a new browser. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing it. I'm doing it right now. Wow, that's great. Okay, so uh, now um, while doing that, if you have any questions, I, I will still I'll be here and uh, waiting for you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, let me just now. I, it's gonna send it to my um to verify to my Comcast, so I have to. That's good. Oh, just wait a minute. I'm not, <laughs> I'm trying to like, you know, so I'm like. Yeah. Uh, in there uh, before I set this up. Can I ask you a question as long as I have you on the phone? Um, yes, please. Why does it take, like, if you want to close a Microsoft account, why does it take, like, 30 days for it to be closed? That's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good question. Um, the, the, the reason why Microsoft um, giving you 30 days if you want to close a Microsoft account, uh, meaning uh, Microsoft is still on, on the process on um, waiting for our customers, maybe they, they will change their mind oh. or for some reasons they, they want to check some important information on their account like their, their um, emails on their inbox or information that they need to, to um, uh, contain on their um, accounts. That's the reason why um, they, they give our customers 30 days to, to um, think about it if they want to, to um, really uh, close the account. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. Okay. It's just, you know, if you have like, um, if you have a problem with security or something, you know, the fact that it's, you know, 30 days, I, I, I thought it might be a problem. But anyway, I was just curious. That's not why I called. You know, so. Yeah. Okay, so um, now I'm, I'm still for, setting it up. For security purposes, like for example, um, someone is like, um, want to, to get in or have the uh, email or the account. It's it's one way or another. So they, they are just uh, protecting your, your information as well. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, right now. Okay, um... Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm I'm doing it now. Uh, I'm so, I'm signing up. So just just uh, yes, with, yes, with just, this just take your time. Okay. <laughs> from from which state you're um, calling from? May I ask? What state? Uh, New Jersey. Wow, in New Jersey. <laughs> I have a cousin in, in New Jersey, but I don't know um, where is the exact exact place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, it's on the East Coast. On the oh. East Coast. Um, you were near from, 
from New, New York. Um, yeah. Is that um, how many hours to, to get in, uh, to drive um, from New Jersey to New York? Uh, for me, it's about two hours. It would be about two hours. Mm. Not quite uh, too long. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I, yeah. Uh, I, I don't have a car right now, but I, I, w I don't drive to New York anyway. <laughs> a lot of um, Filipinos living in New Jersey, right? Uh, I don't know. Are you are you calling from the Philippines? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay. So now I'm gonna. <clears throat> and regarding regarding the the refund that we're talking about all right um if we're going to escalate that um just to uh set your expectations Within 24 hours, but but not more than 72 hours, they will be contacting you regarding this and tell, settle what whatever um, amount they, they need to uh, process on your your account. Okay. But this is the problem. Like, how am I going to get it? They're telling me. Um, I mean, is it true? It's got to be. Um. <clears throat> um if they send it to a pay, my PayPal, then it's got to be... First of all, I don't have a credit card. I don't have a debit card. If it goes to my PayPal, but my PayPal has to be linked to a... Um, credit or debit card? Because it's not. Yes, now, um, since you uh, already told me uh, about the situation of your, your um, PayPal, I will also include that on my notes so that they will... Um, Maybe uh, they, they uh, try something else. It's like um, send you a, a check. Oh, that, yeah. Um, will, yeah, if that will also um, possible. But um, checks are maybe uh, it will take. Um, I I just want to, to um, tell you that I do not have um, the full information about the checks that Microsoft issuing to our customers. It it will take how many days or weeks, uh, maybe. Uh, I, just, I just need to check on that. Because I don't want to provide you false information or, or false hopes on this. <laughs> false hopes? What do you mean false hopes? I mean, you know... No, uh, yeah. What do you if, mean? If I'm going to tell you one week, they're going to process you the, the check. So that's going to be a false hope, right? <sighs> Wait a minute. Okay, I, I can't do two things at once. Okay. So I just verified this address here on my, uh, my, um, uh, Microsoft. Uh, where am I now? Oh, see. Oh, okay. Okay, so it says it was sent. It says it was sent. Are you still there? Are you still oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, uh, uh, yeah, I'm still here. Oh, okay. All right. So, um, okay. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let me see. Um, now, um, you told me that you do not 
have any debit or credit card, right? Uh, at the moment, I don't know. How about the, the new PayPal account? Uh, it's linked to a savings account. It's linked to a savings account. It's not a, it, it's not a problem. We will use that PayPal account. Oh, you can use to that? Set up your, to set up your free trial, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to oh, okay. um, remove or set it up to... Oh, oh, okay. To only, All right. To only free trial and, and um, turn off the auto renewal, okay? Yeah, okay. So, um... um um okay so uh, let me just I, i'm just finishing up here yeah just, just take your time just let me know if you are done with your microsoft account okay and um so uh, uh oh, okay. i want to ask yeah, I want to ask, you know how to uh, update your payment instrument on the, on the account as well? Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 okay, so um, okay, so now I'm on the page that says, Welcome Susan, and it's got my, my email address my for my second account. Good job. So now... Uh, See, the, only, the problem is, okay, I hope I don't need any phone code because, all right, so, um, okay, so what should I do now? Uh, I, now, um, I want you to access the payment and billing. Um, you can see there, home. Yeah, payment and billing, okay, I'm, I'm a payment and billing. Okay, so I'm Please. going to commerce.microsoft. See, now it's saying, oh, okay. So now it's saying call yeah. or text the number. Now it's saying email. Email me. I just signed out of that account. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I have to um, sign back into my Comcast. Uh, it would have to email me because I can't. I only have the one yeah. phone. I don't have a cell phone either uh, right now. I did order one. I'm expecting one, but right now I don't have they one. Will, they will be sending you the, the support code on your email and just, and just check your inbox. Once you've yeah, yeah. got the support code, you would just type it in on, on the on the page that you were you were asked for the yeah. jersey code. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I have like so many well, passwords. Um, uh, you know, I have so hey, many. We will make things. We will make things better for you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. <sighs> now you already get. You already got the, the support code. Um, I'm about to get it right now. Wow. <laughs> yeah. See, but I just signed out of my Comcast, and uh, so now it's. <laughs> but so it's going to send one to my Comcast, so I had to sign back in. So. Yeah. Please. Okay, so, uh, okay, so, uh, once, once you verify your, your, um, security code, there, there should be a box that says, I sign, I sign into this, um, device frequently, so you will not be asked for that, um, security, uh, information, um, again, just, just tick the box check. Okay, so. Okay, so now, okay. Now it's asking me, it says, um, okay. You will 
will be back on the page that you will you will have the options at the new at the new payment option like your PayPal or or um, you will see the information okay. there, credit card information like that. Okay, so now I'm here and it says uh, payment options, billing help. So what 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 should I do then? Uh, add a new um add a new payment. Payment options, okay. Payment options. Okay, add payment option. And now, okay, so but I don't have a credit card, so PayPal. Yes. Um. Before you do that, I, I just need to know on the right on the right upper part of that um option, it should be on a business, not the personal account. Uh, do you see that option? Where's that? I don't know. I don't see it. What What are you talking about? I'm, I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Um. Now you see the uh, payment and billing and the uh, add new payment, right? Add payment option. Yeah. Yes. Um. Just take a look on the right part of your screen, and and, and um, you will see there personal or business. You see that option on a uh, little little upper part. No, it doesn't say that. You did not see that option. Okay. It's in other words, it's okay. got I'm on under Microsoft account. It's got payment and billing. I've got overview on the left. Overview, payment options, billing help. So I clicked on payment options. And it's got yeah. add payment option, right. and it's got it had either PayPal or a card. So I clicked on PayPal, and in the upper right hand corner is just a little icon, and it says Susan. It's an icon, so I guess that's my account, and I click on that, and I get view account and sign out. That's all. It's okay. up, up in now, the right. Now, um, you can go ahead and add the 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 PayPal, please. So we can go ahead and um, sign up for for the pre trial of your office. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to sign up for. Um, so first of all, I'm just we're right now, so I'm not. Okay, so I'm not signing up for any product. I'm just putting in payment information, right? Yes. Okay. All right. B O Y K E W I C H. And the numbers? Oh, well, which one? You talking about the one I'm doing now? Yeah, the, the oh, Comcast. Four three two five at Comcast dot net. Sorry, you're cutting in and out. What is the number again, please? Four three two five at Comcast dot net. Thank you so much for that. Okay. Uh, okay, so now it says uh, so now it says I'm going to be connected to PayPal. So PayPal can authenticate. Yes, that's so correct. You will have to validate that you're going to associate that PayPal account to your Microsoft account, right? Yeah. So uh, okay, so um. Oh, no. 
Now it's got, now the thing, now I've do, done this many times before, and each and every time it asked me to link to a card. Now I didn't sign in yet, but I bet it's going to ask me the same thing, link to a card, which I don't have. And then the only thing I can do is what it says at the bottom, cancel and return to Microsoft. So let me see if it, the same thing happens. Now, now, um, PayPal is, um, already accepted to associate to, to Office 365 subscription. It's now, um, been, um, allowed to use. All right, now I'm logging into my PayPal. Log into PayPal. Yeah, just... Now it says here. PayPal, yeah. You will just need to validate the PayPal account. But I can't. I can't. But I'm telling you, I can't. I'm telling you that I can't. I'm telling you this is what it says. It says, PayPal, please add a debit or credit card to complete your purchase. First of all, I'm not purchasing anything. It says, add a card. And it's got all this. And it has nothing in here. It says, add. And I can't add anything because I don't have a card. It says, and then at the bottom, it says, cancel and return to Microsoft Corporation. So what am I supposed to do? I can't do it. Okay, um, here's another option. Do you have a good um, connection to your internet, right? Yeah. So, for us to be able to get the Word, Excel, and the PowerPoint working on your computer, it's going to be um, free of charge as of the moment. Okay. It's absolutely free of charge, and you can, can still use the Word, Excel, and the PowerPoint anytime, anywhere, as long as you have the internet connection. So. I'm going to give you a website wherein you can get uh, the online uh, applications like the like I said a while ago. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, the website should be onedrive.live.com. Okay, so now, okay. OneDrive, uh, the, the numeral one or spelling out one? You spell it out. Oh, OneDrive. Oh, like OneDrive. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah OneDrive. OneDrive, yeah. Okay, so um, so at this point, I'm. Uh, I just I, I as far as the PayPal thing, which I couldn't do anything with, I just I canceled out of there yeah. that uh, uh, menu yeah. there. Yeah. See. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, so. Uh, oh, so. So um, we're gonna just just a we're, second. We're you know what? You a yeah. office that is absolutely free of charge, but it's an online office. Oh, okay. That we're um. Gonna, uh, we're going to use to your uh, computer. See, I'm finding that I'm like, I'm canceling these things. I'm deleting my cookies, but yet I'm still uh, logged into these things, and I shouldn't be, you know? Like PayPal, I'm still logged into PayPal. I, lo I lo you know, I shouldn't be. So I have but to like log out twice. All right. So okay. So now okay. So so not to um, um get uh sidetracked. What is it? It's OneDrive. Can you give me that address again? OneDrive. Yes. OneDrive. Dot live. Dot com. Dot live. Dot com. Okay. Um. Okay. And you will be asked to sign in. Please sign in using the Microsoft account, the, the Comcast that you have um, provided me. Well, actually, I, I am signed in here. I am signed in because... Wow. Uh, I, I, no, because I never signed out. I never signed out. So I, I think it's, <laughs> it's got my name up here. <laughs> okay, that's great. Um, yeah. uh, now, um, tell me what you're, you're seeing on the screen. Your home page? Um, yeah, it's not my... It says, it says Susan's OneDrive. OneDrive, um, hmm. OneDrive, welcome oh. to OneDrive, uh, and it's got step one, step two, step three, and it's got documents, pictures, and that's all. Uh. Yeah, now, um, if, if you can take a look on the left upper part of your screen, there should be your, your OneDrive, and there's an arrow drop down option left upper part yes 
arrow drop down. It's oh create. It's got to create an arrow drop down. Okay. Yeah. Yes. When you hit on that, there should be a drop down choices. Yes, there is. Of yeah, of those office applications like the Word, the right. Excel, the PowerPoint, the, and then the OneNote. Right. I'm Actually, sure. the only thing I really need is the word that's really all I'm interested in right now. But in any case, yeah, it does have that menu. Yeah, um, that would be great. And um, just to remind you, this is an, 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 an online office. And whatever files that you're going to create on, on that um, application, it, it, it's um, already saved and um, on your OneDrive. Oh, okay. Yeah. So... Anytime, anywhere, you can access your files. Oh, okay. As long as you have the internet connection and just um, log in the way I, I um, walk you through on the website okay. to sign into your OneDrive account. Okay. Sounds good. Now, I'm going to need the the information from you to escalate your, your refund that has been processed on the a, on a wrong PayPal account, okay? But wait a minute, but wait, wait. Uh, uh, in terms of the Word document, what about that? I mean, what, do I have Word then? You're saying I have it? I don't understand. What, what about the Word? Yes, um, the Word, you can always have that. Oh, so uh, I have it, you're saying? Yes. Now, let me ask the, you. The way, um, the, the, the way we, we um, log into your account, to your OneDrive, that is the process on how, how to get into the Word online. So that is an oh. online office that we have now and that is absolutely free of charge okay I hope uh, I hope this works okay with my um, um it's seen okay so now okay so now let me ask you this I'm clicking on the I had a uh, uh, the um, the word icon I'm in my taskbar and I'm clicking on it this is with my other email address and it said and it says your subscription has ex expired what do I do about that because that this one that is expired is tied to to my work, which it needs certain settings for the work that I do, uh, for, you know, for a job uh, on this computer. So how do I tie that one? This for one, example, um, you will you will just you will just um get the online word right. So when when you access the online word, it will not ask you to any of those um information that your account or your subscription has been expired well um, if you're so, going to access the word on your computer that is exactly the information that you will get the oh wait a minute it's been already canceled right wait so, a minute wait a minute so it so, says okay, yeah it's so, a different word that we're, we're um, talking about so let me ask you word this Look, is, can i ask you um now it says in the corner in the corner it's got my uh, Su Su susan boykevich you know the account um information it says switch account can i just switch to my other account uh, it says uh, for example it says current account sue boykevich this is what well, i'm talking about my old when i when i clicked on the the, the word uh document icon now it's set. Now that's my old address, the Gmail, and then and it's got at the bottom. Add account. Click to sign in a new account into Office. Can I do that? Yes. Um. Because maybe you are signed in to your to your Gmail. It's not a problem. If you can also use your Gmail to OneDrive, it's it's the same option that I walk you through on the OneDrive. So you oh. you will just need to uh oh get oh, those okay. online Office. Not okay. the word that is on the, already on your computer. That is um, already expired or, or canceled. Um, oh, oh, okay. So I just go to the OneDrive. Oh, okay. So so as far as that icon goes, I should just forget about that. It's not um, any any good, so I'll just delete it, right? Yes, um, because okay. the, the one that is already installed to your computer has been already canceled. That is the reason why you're getting that um, message. Oh, okay. Your, your um, subscription has been canceled. However, if you're going to check... On the OneDrive options, like we will get the online office applications. If if you will um, click one of those, anytime, anywhere, you can you can access those applications because it's it's free of charge. So I have to click on OneDrive. You're saying you're saying as long as I click yes. on OneDrive, I can get anything associated with that office. Um, 
But I'm really only interested in the word, but you're saying I could get the other things. I could get anything associated with the OneDrive. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, that's great. Okay, great. And so how long does that last um, for? Um, it's just, 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 how long does it last for, like, in other words? It's just, it's just free of charge, like, for how long? Yeah. Just, just it's it. absolutely free of charge oh, anytime, okay. anywhere. Oh, great. Okay. So, okay. So, that's good. Uh, the, so great. So I'll have to like, I, you know, I'll, I'll check and see in terms of any technical things that might be involved that has to be adjusted with regard to my, you know, my work because I need this uh, word for my work. But but I'll have to do that later. But okay, so that's pretty much solves my my problem. So I I, I don't need any uh, I don't need any refund then. I don't need a refund. I'm sorry. So so that's so that's fine. So you solved my problem. So thanks. Well, um, regarding the refund, I'm I'm gonna escalate that issue to yeah, our I, I higher level yeah, okay. so that you can you can get that refund back to your. Well, well, I don't need a refund. Office. I mean, if I have the word, I don't need a refund, so it's great. Uh, but you know, uh, you know, whatever you sure. want to do, whatever you want to do. But I don't need a refund. I'm telling you that you know, I, if I have the what I paid for, then I don't need a refund. But any anyway, uh, thanks. So. Um, Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Unless you really want to give. Won't. <laughs> no, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah, I don't need a refund. I don't need a refund. I, you know, I have, uh, I have what I pay for, um, and I can get it. You're saying I can get it, so that's that's good. Okay, well, I appreciate your time, Susan. And well, do you have anything else that I can assist you with aside from this? Uh, no, that's all. Okay, what we have done is we've already um, straightened this out, help you to get that word online. Since um, we, we, we just need to escalate the issue that um, regarding the refund and, and you don't want to, well, I, uh, I just want to thank you for, for your um, um, time again. My name is Bob from Accounts and Billing Team. Okay, what's your name again? Well, what's your name? My, my, my name is Bok. Oh, Bok? Like B-O-C or, or B-O-K? B, uh, B-O-C. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Bye. And you have a great day. Oh, you too. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay. So that's Suzanne. So I, I don't know in terms of being one driver or what, but I'll figure that out later. So, wow. So this is, uh, this is the, what is it? It's the ninth video. Uh, I, that that's in total a total of what's on of what's on my uh, thing here, and it's uh, thirty eight minutes.